guys, welcome back to my homeschool channel. Today I wanted to share a flip through of one of my favorite curriculum choices from this past school year, and that is Math Level 4 by Apologia. Last year, my oldest daughter was in third grade, and by the end of the year, she was not a fan of math. She was dreading having to do it every day. We had been using a Becca, which had been working great for us in kindergarten and first grade. We had switched it up a little bit and tried Christian Liberty Press for her when she was in second grade, and then she didn't really love that, so we switched back to a Becca for third grade. It started off great, but by the end of the year, she was just over it and dreading it. And so I wanted to try and find something for her for going into fourth grade that would help her to love math more and to be excited about doing it. I really want to overall give them a love for learning and show them that all of the subjects can be enjoyable and definitely doable. And so I knew we needed to move on from a Becca and do something else. When I went to the homeschool convention back in June, I was able to flip through a few different curriculum options and I saw the Apologia books and they looked awesome. They looked like they were simple and short lessons, but really engaging and interactive. And so that's what I decided to go with. And we have really, really loved it and enjoyed it. So since we are getting towards the end of the school year, even though we have a couple of months left, I'm starting to kind of think about what worked for us and what didn't, and maybe share some of our favorite choices on here with you guys. And I wanted to start off with one that was a definite winner for us, and that is the Apology of Bath. Apology is a company that creates curriculum specifically for homeschool students, which is really nice, as opposed to a Becca, which can be used in like private schools and for homeschool families. And really Apologia is mostly known, I think, for their science curriculums. It's definitely been more recently that they started putting out their math curriculum. I know I didn't even realize they had a math curriculum until I was at the convention this past year. So you might not know they have a math curriculum. And if you don't, if this is news to you, I would definitely recommend going to check them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip through the book and I will point out some of the things that I loved about it and give you kind of an overview of what is inside this book. So let's look at first um, what this book covers. It's broken up into six different units and it covers things all the way from numbers and place value, multiplication, geometry, division, um, fractions and decimals, measurements, definitely a comprehensive program for fourth grade math, which I love. And I love that each unit gives you a broad overview of what you're gonna be learning in that unit. And then it's broken up into chapters. There's like two or three chapters within each unit, and then those chapters are broken down into more specific and short lessons for the concepts that you need to learn for that broad category. For example, you can see on this page, this is the start of the book, chapter one. It's part of the broader unit of numbers and place value. So in the beginning of this chapter, you see that it gives you a few bullet points of the things that you're gonna be focusing on and learning. And then it also tells you over here, a skills practice that you should be working on alongside of this unit. This was another thing that I really loved about this book. There are not pages and pages of just problems problems. A Becca got to the point where we would open up the math book. She had one page to do for the day, but the page probably had like 30 math problems on it, 30 multiplication problems or a mix of, you know, multiplication and division problems. And it just got overwhelming. And while sometimes you need that repetitive practice to help you with your speed and quickness, which I know is a goal in the Abeka program. It also makes math feel like such a bore and really a chore to get through, which is not what I want my girls to see math as. So what I liked about this Apologia book is that they give you a couple of problems on the page that goes along with the lesson, teaches you how to solve and work through the problem. And then they're saying, I want you to work on these skills outside of the book while you're also going through this chapter. So chapter one had about 10 lessons in it, which means it took us about two weeks. So during this two weeks, while we were working through this first chapter, chapter, we were also supposed to be doing a skills practice on the side of adding and subtracting three digit numbers. That meant that as a homeschool mom, I could pull out some fun pages for three digit subtraction and addition, or we could find some fun games to work on those skills. I could ask her to add three digit numbers together while in the store or anything like that, but we could practice those skills without having to do them repetitively on a worksheet. And that was definitely one of our number one favorite things about this math curriculum. One thing that I really love about Apologia is that it is very open and go. It doesn't require a lot of prep book. If there's an activity at the beginning of the lesson, it gives you the instructions right there in the beginning of the lesson. All of the instructions my daughter has been able to follow on her own. So I just have to rip the activity page out of the book and hand it to her. And then she's able to follow the instructions to complete the activity mostly on her own. The lessons always start with a small teaching segment. So she's also able to read through that lesson. Or sometimes if it's a harder concept, we read through that lesson together. But that's 
all that's required for that lesson is to just read what they've already got right there on the page and then she can move into the problems. It doesn't require hardly any prep work from you as the homeschool mom, which is awesome. The next thing that we really liked about this curriculum was that a lot of the chapters and lessons had you start off with a super fun activity to go along with the concept that they were trying to teach. With this math book, you are supposed to purchase the teaching guide and the answer key that comes along with it. And in the back of that book, there are all the extra pages for the activities for each lesson. So you'll definitely want to purchase the teaching guide uh, to go along with this book. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. But if you don't purchase it, they do have another option, which is to download the activity pages from their website. If you're familiar with Apologia's science curriculums, you know they have an online resource center. Once you purchase the textbook in the front of the book, they have the website for you to go to and they have a password code that they give you inside of the book. And that allows you to access all of the extras that go along with their curriculum. So that's the same thing for this math book. So you can access the activity pages either in the teacher's guide or you can print them off online. I love that they offer that additional resource because if I wanted to use this math book again with my next one, I could keep the teacher's guide. I wouldn't have to repurchase that even though we've used the activity pages in the back and I could just use the online resource to reprint the activity pages for my next daughter. But let's go back and look at some of the activities that we've done so far this year. They're usually fairly simple. The basis of them is usually just an activity sheet from the back of the book and then sometimes it requires some other simple tools like glue sticks or scissors. You can see this first one was just a scavenger hunt. So I gave her the activity page, set a timer for 10 minutes, and sent her on the scavenger hunt to look for the numbers that the book had instructed her to find. So that was a super fun thing. Got her up and got her moving, got her mind primed for sitting down and talking about place value. Another activity was creating the expanded form flip book. So for this one, she just had to cut out and staple um, a flip book together. But then once she created that, she was able to use it for this lesson and then also save it with her school box and pull it back out for other lessons as, as a great visual and reminder for place value and numbers in their expanded forms. There was another fun activity that was a game that her and I played against each other. It just required the activity pages from the back of the book and then a paper clip and a pencil to sort of make a spinner. And then her and I were able to play that game together before she moved into her lesson. And I love that activity specifically because it brought a level of fun and connection between her and I at the start of her math lesson which I think helps to solidify um, in their brains that math can be fun. If we have things that make math feel fun as they're doing math, then that builds those neuro pathways to connect math with a positive emotion. I think Apologia really helps with that because they add so many fun activities. And then the last project that she just recently did a couple lessons ago was just a hands-on fun way to visualize what the square root of a number is. So for this activity, it didn't require anything out of the back of the book. It just required me to give her um, some small squares or cubes. I decided to use our counting cubes that we already had. And then it was just a hands-on way for her to build squares using certain numbers that they instructed her to do. So then she was able to see that multiplying a number by itself gave you, you know, the certain amount of numbers that was in the square. I, I love this because I think even as our kids get older, we tend to move away from hands-on things and manipulatives and expect them to just do the worksheet. But we still need to be finding so many ways to bring math and science science and history off of the page to really help them engage with their learning. And this curriculum has given my daughter chances to either get up out of her seat and get moving while she's doing math or get her hands on some manipulatives to really help her understand the concepts. And that has just been great for us. The lessons are short, but they are purposeful. And I really feel like my daughter has really retained a lot of the concepts because she's not overwhelmed. Her brain is not shut down during math where she's just trying to like get through it and not enjoying it at all. And it's more important for me that she is understanding the concepts and holding on to them more so than being able to complete 50 problems on a page in a short amount of time. That's a skill that I know she'll have to work on as she grows, but for right now, I really just wanna develop a love of math in her, and Apologia has really helped us to do that this year. Okay, so that was a great overview of the student textbook. I hope that looking inside of it kind of gave you an idea of the flow of it and how it works, what the pages look like. They're super fun, they're super interactive. Um, so now that I've shown you that, I'm gonna show you what the teacher book looks like. Starts off like all great teacher books do by giving you a sample schedule 
schedule week by week that um, shows you what kinds of things you can cover, how long you can expect that this book will take you to get through. It says that it covers 36 weeks, but as always, you can adjust it to fit your family's needs. For each unit, it gives you teacher's notes to go along with that unit. It gives you a supply list of things that they are going to suggest that you have on hand. I will say that we haven't always had the supplies that we needed, and I was either able to, one, make up a similar supply out of something that we had on hand at the house, or we would just skip it, and it hasn't impacted the overall effectiveness of this book for us. So there have been some activities that we've just had to skip for lack of having one of the math manipulatives that were needed, but mostly the supplies are simple things like you probably have on hand, like note cards or Uno cards, playing cards, staplers, dice, those kinds of things. It then gives you the suggestions for the skill practices that they want you to do at the beginning of each chapter. So if you don't want to have to look up some extra pages for practicing those skills, it gives you a few ideas of what you can do. So that makes it super easy. And then of course it shows you the answers to all the problems on your students page. And then at the back of this book, there is a problem solving process chart that can help you and your student work through some problems together. That just gives a visual for you and your student to remind you that sometimes problems can take a while to work through. Sometimes we have to change things if we get the answer wrong and that that's okay. So this is just like a nice little encouragement to have and to show your student as well. And then behind that, there are five problem solving strategies, uh, questions to ask your student, which I think is really helpful too as a homeschool mom because sometimes we don't always possess all of the refined skills of teaching different subjects. I know sometimes I'm looking up ways to teach, like what is the best way that I can explain this? What is the best way to teach them this certain concept? And this is just a great resource to have of questions that you can ask your child to help them work through some of the problems that they find in the book. And then the back of the book are these optional tests that you can give at the end of each chapter. This book will also give you all the answers to these tests. I know a lot of homeschoolers don't like to do testing for their kids, but it is something that we incorporate in our homeschool. Maybe not every week, but definitely on some sort of regular basis. I feel like testing and knowing how to test, knowing how to handle the pressures of a test or the outcomes of a test is actually a life skill that we should be teaching our kids. And we're kind of doing them a disservice if we're not testing them at all. I know homeschooling and testing is like a totally different conversation, probably worthy of its own video, so I won't um, go into it any further, but I'll just say that I like that this curriculum includes tests in the back. They're usually very short. They're just one page, sometimes just the front of the page. It's been no big deal to add in these tests and it's been a great chance for my daughter to review the concepts that she's been learning. Yeah, so that is Apologia Level 4. I hope flipping through that book kind of showed you uh, what's inside of it and the teacher book kind of showed you what all they had to offer. Um, if you are trying to find a new math curriculum for your kids this upcoming year, I definitely think that you should give Apologia a closer look. Just to kind of sum up, they have short lessons, which really helps to kind of master concepts without the drudgery that can sometimes come along with math. It's open and go. It's minimal prep involved for you as the parent allows your students to do a lot of independent learning. The design of the book is very colorful, very engaging, and very interactive. It comes with a ton of hands-on activities, so lots of practice for your students to be able to get that tactile learning in or to use manipulatives or to use visuals to help them really understand a concept. And then last, it's really fun. My daughter really finds math to be fun this year. And because it's been fun, because the lessons have been short, she's really mastered a lot of concepts. I think I saw that right now for the month of February, they are offering 25% off of their math curriculum. So now is a great time to buy. If you're interested in checking them out, definitely look at them. I'm not sponsored by Apology at all or affiliated with them in any way. This has just been one of my favorite curriculum picks that I made for my kids this last year. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. Math can be a super tricky curriculum to figure out for your kids because all of our kids learn in different ways. Math can be a tough subject. Lots of different reasons why math is hard, but using Apology this year has actually been really great for us. So go and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel. Every like and subscription helps me out so much. Every view helps me out so much. 
And then let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought about this curriculum. If you think this is something that you would use, if it's something you've used before, how did you guys like it? And also tell me, does math seem to be a struggle for you guys as homeschool families or is it one of your favorite subjects? I know for me as a homeschool student, it was always my least favorite subject and I'm trying to turn that around for my kids and make it so that they enjoy doing math and they look forward to it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy homeschooling.